a fascinating theory about our moon yes. and its, its origins. Well, it isn't my original theory. It's a Soviet theory enunciated first in 1976 by two Russian physicists who said that our moon is artificial for three reasons. First, it it's artificial. artificial. Yes, it's, well, it's, a, it's actually a natural body that was converted into a titanic spaceship. Why? First of all, the moon occupies a nearly perfectly circular orbit. And that's unusual. That is. Most okay. other planetary moons are occupying elliptical-shaped orbits. Our moon appears to be in orbit more by design than by accident. Also, when the Russia Luna vehicle explored the surface of the moon, it found that the mass of the moon is concentrated in an outer shell surrounding a hollow center. And you know that hollow centered bodies aren't found there naturally. And then thirdly, when one of our Apollo vehicles dropped down a module on the surface of the moon, it yielded a bell-shaped reverberation pattern in indicating again that the moon is hollow. So someone's living down there? Or they might have been there. Office equipment? Or what, what do we have? <laughs> what do we have down there? Anything. Yeah. Xerox machines, food supplies, so living quarters. somebody brought this? Yes. Now this may have been millions of years ago, oh, and they may now be dead but it will take a future expedition to find out. Yeah. But it's just one theory, and may I point out, back in 1918, Robert Goddard, our nation's foremost rocket pioneer, argued that in the future, we Earthlings will have to convert moons and asteroids into spacecraft, because I hate to tell you this, Pat, but our sun is going to explode into a red giant about five billion years from now. So oh. you better get ready. Well, well, good. Fine. This, this is a long show, but not that long.